I am fortunate to be living in one of the older areas of Bengaluru, uh, which were designed by the then visionary leaders and engineers, uh, which goes on to explain the fact that uh, most of the older areas are not really flooded by the recent heavy rains. However, it's really unfortunate to see a lot of uh, areas being flooded and a lot of people losing their houses their homes. It is true that any city should ideally not crumble under expected seasonal changes uh, and uh, nothing justifies the lack of uh, visionary leadership and uh, responsible authorities, yes. However, this rant is about a completely different thing. It's about certain types of responses we are getting to see and hear around us about the rains, the floods. Uh, I remember a few years back when Chennai faced the same issue. Uh, we were all so eager to share our resources, be of help, be of value, uh, show our humanity. Uh, and it was so ins inspiring, moving, uh, right? However, <laughs> I'm really <laughs> mind boggled to see trolls and memes about the Bengaluru rains and floods, um, the misplaced sense of humor, if it's sense of humor in the first place. This sort of casual cruelty when people are suffering, you know, instead of us trying to find ways to be of help, of any use at all, sitting and creating memes. Uh, it's quite incredible that we are capable of this. You see, just like many of you, I came to Bengaluru uh, in search of a job. Uh, I graduated 10 years ago. I was born and brought up in Mysuru, uh, my beloved hometown. But I also, like many of you, absolutely love the Bengaluru weather. I love the fact that you have access to world cuisine, you have access to uh, some of the best bars and restaurants and breweries, not only in the country but perhaps in the world and uh, I absolutely love the energy of the startups and the fact that we are a startup hub. So yeah, most of us are here in search of good jobs, well-paying jobs and a decent life, uh, fun-filled life. Um, trust me, I'm not xenophobic at all because hey, I myself am a sort of an outsider, right? Because I'm, I was not born and brought up in Bengaluru. Um, so, what is this sense of entitlement that so many of us seem to have that a city should take care of us when we are not really doing much for the place we are living in? Uh, like I said, of course, we do need visionary leaderships. We do need authorities that care. We do need authorities that are efficient. <laughs> the funny thing is most of us don't even know whom to hold accountable in, in such cases. You know, it's very easy to create a meme or a troll and probably get thousands of people or even lakhs of people to like or comment and share on social media. But on the ground, how are we being useful as, as citizens? A few friends and I were a part of this amazing group called The Ugly Indian for a few years. Uh, we would literally go around the city every weekend to clean some stretches of footpaths and corners. Um, then there were other groups that took up similar activities. You can still see those spots across the city. So I, this was at a time when a few people were again creating these trolls and memes about how the gar garden city is actually a garbage city. And uh, the motto of the ugly Indian was move band, kam chalu. So basically to shut up and actually do something about some problem you have. <laughs> I'm also reminded of this incredible question that Madhavan's character had asked in the movie Rangde Basanti. Do you guys remember that scene when he says, Ghar ki safai mein haath gandha kaun kare? Which roughly translates to how many of us are ready to get our hands dirty while cleaning the house, right? So yes, Maybe we don't have to participate as citizens in making our city more livable, um, making our city better. The least we can do is perhaps not have our 
sense of humor if that misplaced and uh, at least not create these senseless insensible insensitive basically mean memes and trolls while there are people out there actually suffering so <laughs> hey if we have that much of an issue with the city we can just leave right i mean who can take away that freedom from us uh, i don't think bengaluru will sit and cry if we were to leave her i can go back to mysuru if i have issues living here so it's 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 just a, a sincere attempt to sort of reflect on how useful how useful we ourselves can be uh, what we can do for the city we are living in it's not like a one way relationship right i mean we all want the best of bengaluru but when there are issues we just want to sit back or run away or create memes anyway thank you for listening to the rant there are so many people out there who are actually quietly helping uh being kind to those who are in need who are in distress and i hope that more of us will get away from our memes and trolls and go out there and help those who are in need thank you so much for listening